we're excited to have everybody there. Well, we're excited because we're going to have a little mini agility show off right here. We have four awesome dogs that you guys have brought with you. We do, and here's Paul Campanella. Oh, hey, Paul, Paul, our agility director of agility. Good morning. Tell us about agility, the agility competition, Paul. Well, agility is the athletic part of the dog world. Um, these are our dog athletes. They're going to come out here today. We have a very small setup, a normal agility setup. It'll have 17 to 18 obstacles, and it'll be about 130. Our, our uh, ring is about 130 feet by 70 feet. So this is a much smaller uh, course than we have at uh, Westminster. Well, who do we have first? Who's this guy? This is Cody, and, and this is our mixed breed dog representative. And you can see he, he looks Hi, athletic. Cody. He looks eager to go. As, as Paul said, the course is a little short, but. <laughs> oh, so what, what is Cody then? What kind of a mix? What is Cody, Jim? Cody is a husky border collie. A husky border collie. He is so gorgeous. Are you going to show us some stuff, Cody? Oh. We're not really testing Cody too much here. Ah, <laughs> wanted to come on the stage here. He took the shortcut. <laughs> he took the shortcut. <laughs> Aww. Wasn't that tough a test for Cody? He gets to jump. <laughs> Does he jump at 18 or, or uh, at 20? So is Cody going to be in the show? Are we going to be able Cody to see him? Cody will be at the show. He's among 15 other mixed breed dogs that'll be there. Oh, awesome! All four of the dogs we're going to see here today are entered in the show. Paul, you want to maybe describe some of the other obstacles that we have usually? Sure. There, um, there are quite a few other obstacles. There are some contact obstacles. What we have here are just jumps. Uh, we have an A-frame, which is, you know, shaped like a letter A, and they, they walk up it and walk down it. We have a tire they jump through. Um, we have a set of weave poles that they have to weave in and out of. Um, the whole course, our course usually takes about 50 seconds for a dog to complete, give or take. And what are they judged on? Like, you know, how straight they walk? Well, it's not subjective at all. It's whether or not they complete the course in the allotted time and whether or not they knock down a bar or miss a contact point. Oh, wow. So okay. it's quite unlike the, co the confirmation show. And if, or if they come on the stage. <laughs> exactly. That, might be that would be an off course. Sorry, Cody. I think you're awesome. <laughs> Who do we have next? Who's this? This is Sky with Debbie Merwin. Sky's an Aussie. You see, we have 30-some Aussies entered, right, Paul? We Out do. of the 330, there's about more, a little more than 10% of the entry is Aussies. Correct. Good day, mate. What do you got for us? <laughs> oh, really good. This is an activity, as you can see, that these dogs absolutely love. They can't wait to compete. They stand at that starting line, and they can't wait to go. So what's the difference between the barking and the not barking? Like, who decides? Is, is that a good thing? Do you get points off? There's no points off for that. It's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> good, because I love the barking. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sky. It, it, part of this is there's a, it, it really is it, between the handler and the dog. I mean, the, handler, the dog has to take verbal cues and visual cues from the handler to make sure they're going to the next obstacle in the sequence. And uh, if, if they want to talk to each other, if Sky says, you know what, I, here's what I think about all this. But some of them do bark. It's, it's kind of funny to watch them work like and that. And they bring so much joy. I can see Angels on a Leash, why it must be so therapeutic for people, because it's just so exciting and joyful to see them come out here. It is. OK, so who do we have next? Jeter is next. Jeter. David, you told you me that the, that the name Jeter is the most registered name in New York City. I wonder why that is. <laughs> the uh, dog license people send that report out every year, and I think two years ago it was that Jeter was the number one name. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> as you were telling me before, you have to name your dog after a champion if you want him to be a champion. Well, her, she's a girl, right? Jeter, this Jeter's a girl. Jeterette. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jeter. <laughs> yeah, you and wish. And she's three years old? <laughs> and she was already a champion at two, you said? Yes. Wow. That's an amazing accomplishment. It is. It really wow. is. 
So let's she's, see Jeter. She's one of 45 Border Collies entered this year at Westminster. At the they're Adelie so trial. beautiful, and she is so soft. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sheltie. Excuse me. <laughs> she is so soft. I was petting her before. Such a beautiful dog. Do you want to show us what Jeter can do? Come on, girl. If they do go off course, it's a fault. There you go, Jeter. If they go off course, it's a fault. The, dogs is, the dog that will win it all, and probably in the, even the top 10, probably run the course without a fault and run it very fast. Really? Yeah, I think out of 330 dogs, the, the 10 that are left at the end are going to be the ones that don't make any mistakes. But I, I had read there's really not many repeat winners in this, like, or any. They don't tend to go Well, again? we don't know that yet. This is only the second year of the agility, so we may have a repeat winner because last year's defending champion is, uh, is back. Right, Paul? The that's correct. Delaney I guess I was just talking about best in show in general. <laughs> well, best Sorry. in show, too. That's all right. Um, we now call it Westminster Week instead of just the Westminster Kennel Club because not only do we have agility, we also have a, we're partnering with the AKC to present AKC Meet the Breeds, brought to you by Purina Pro Plan, and that's... Uh, on Saturday also in Pier 92, the, the agility is Pier 94, but in Pier 92 is Meet the Breeds, where there are booths set up for each breed, and there are people there with those breeds to talk to you about what these breeds are all about. Wow. We have uh, there, oh. the corgis. This what is, I'm going to do is uh, change the height of the bar. This, uh, <laughs> this is a Pembroke Welsh corgi, as you know, the dog that Queen Elizabeth made famous. And she recently said, "No more." She no won't more. Be I saw any that. More corgis. We, uh, the corgi people, have a booth at Meet the Breeds that is manned by a Queen Elizabeth impost impersonator, <laughs> imposter. I don't know if you can hear all that. Cooper is 11 years old. He's a fluffy, what we call a fluffy corgi, and that means his coat is such that he's not eligible to compete in the show ring, but that's the great thing about agility is we can bring all these dogs that may have some subtlety thing that keeps them from being com uh, competitive in the show ring, and they can be competitive here because it's all about how fast they get from here to there without knocking down any bars or, or, or violating any of the other contact point rules that they have. Right, and... Um He's 11 years old. A lot of the dogs in agility are older dogs. 50% of our dogs competing at Westminster this year are seven years or older. So it's not a sport just for young dogs. You have a lot of older dogs that compete in agility. Wow, so the older the better. I just, it's so sad because I would feel that the fluffiness makes him really special, but that disqualifies him for the best in show part. <laughs> we do have an agility handler competing who's 80 years old, not Leslie. <laughs> but we do have a it's a woman who was a marathon runner for years and at 73 she had to stop running marathons because she had knee replacement surgery so she took up agility and she's got a, a standard poodle that she runs agility with at 80 years old that's great And he's a handsome boy. Let's see, let's see if he can handle this eight-inch jump. Let's do it. <laughs> Pretty good. Good job. <laughs> wow. Very good boy. Thank you, Leslie. So that's Westminster Week. You've seen the athletic portion of it. We'll see the, the people can, uh, think that the dog show is about a, a beauty show, but it really is not a, a beauty pageant. It's about, uh, we're looking at the dogs, the purebred dogs in the dog show, we're comparing them to the written standard which describes the ideal specimen of that breed.